So I came to this place, uh, Gateway Classic Cars, and it's kind of interesting because they have a lot of stuff that's on sale and things like that. So let's take a look. This place is crazy. Take a look at this charger. Wow. car. This Mustang's sick. Along with another, is this a boss or just a, just a regular car right now? It's a Mides on the back. Look at this. I know I'm going to be driving a Corvette sooner or later. This is Pro Charge. Wow. Kind of interesting on the C6. Looks like a 2005. Wow. It's a crazy livery on this. Hmm. I can remember when these Thunderbirds were on the road. This is a 78, 79. Or was this earlier? 77. Shows you how old I am. <laughs> wow. Well, if you like Bullet, so I straight up got the Steve McQueen Bullet car. Of course, a lot of you kids would know who this or what this is. But if you don't, you use YouTube and look it up. This is a car I've never seen before. A DeSoto Fireflight, I think it's called. It's a 58. To give you a comparison of how big this car is, look at the Miata and look at this thing. That DeSoto could eat a Miata. Chevelles are going for a lot of money. I saw on Barry Jackson. <laughs> This one's really clean. I can also remember when these are on the road. I think this is a 73 Cougar. And yeah. It's convertible. I remember these cars being on the road when I was younger. Crazy Carmen Ghia. That orange is nuts. Man, but it's clean. Look at this Corvette. What year is this? Uh, 1982. Wow. Corvettes were long. I think this should be a 79. Actually, this is 75. So look how much it changed from, didn't change much from almost a decade. Wow. And you got the official pace car. I've seen a couple of these. I remember these came out too. Used to see them on the road now and then. This car just says 70s all over it. I mean, it's just like the 70s exploded onto this Corvette. 
nuts. Isn't that crazy? Looks like the 80s. Look at the flame, ghost flame on this Corvette. Wow. Yeah, you gotta go with the old Formula Firebird. Not a Trans Am, but a Firebird. 78. Wow. When you want to talk Trans Am, let's go, I think this is an 80. My brother built one of these when I was a kid. It was silver, but I do remember this car. I think I almost broke it <laughs> when I was a kid. Look at this. Wow, that's pretty. What's that? Oh, man. I don't know. Firebird Camaro. Camaro. This literally has to be one of the prettiest Shelby's I've ever seen. Look at this thing. Immaculate. 65 Shelby recreation. Wow. Something I haven't seen in a while. 928. Risky business time frame. Wow. 81. The interior of that. Risky business. God, did I just date myself again. 2,996. And that's pretty. Very pretty. So I guess these are cars from when my mom and dad were growing up. 56, 57, all Bel Airs. No wonder they think cars today are so small. <laughs> and this is a Chevy 210 Townsman. Got an LS swap in it too. I remember this car only because of James Bond, Lotus Elise. He still looked good. I mean, even today, look at that interior, but still, this car is still wonderful. Man, this is crazy. This is a very, very pretty Datsun. But although then looking at, at the uh, R33 GTST, I think, yeah, it is. I think this is R33 GTS-T, and this, I think, is the GTS-M, if I remember right. Wow, look at this. Kinda love the skylines. This is a Hudson, I don't know what kind of Hudson this is. Oh, it's a Hudson Hornet. 57 Hudson Hornet. Look at that. Look at that interior. Wow, these cars are hugely long. Look at those white walls. Heard about this car. I only saw the later ones of this, but a Chrysler Imperial. Wow, again, look at how, this is a coupe. And it's longer than more, most four, <laughs> four door cars. Look how long it is, it's just to go all the way around it. Wow, and another Skyline GTSM. Wow, wow, check out this Riviera. This is the one before they had that crazy window in the back. GS, this is just nuts. Look how pretty that car is. Wait a minute, let me go back over here. Look at this Studebaker, jeez. Oh my God, that's a large, large, large car. Crazy. This is a Lincoln Continental 86. I remember when these cars were brand new too. Gosh, this makes me feel very, very, very old. Some of these cars, I don't even know what this is. This is a Mercury sedan. And I think, what the heck is this? This is a Ford of some, some sort. Ford Super Deluxe. Gangster mobiles. Super classic. Is this car almost 100 years old or over? This is a 1929 Ford Model A Coupe. It's almost 100 years old. Look at this 1961 
Rolls Royce Silver Cloud. Silver Cloud 2, I think. I'm not sure. Look at this thing. You've never seen inside a old majestic Rolls Royce. Look at that. I know this has to be a Mercury of some sort. I think I'm starting to learn about old cars a little bit. What is this? This? Nope. This is a DeSoto. A DeSoto Fire Dome. Wow. Got a lot to learn. <laughs> So here's a Rolls Royce from the 80s versus a Rolls Royce from the, oh, this is a 56 Silver Cloud. My gosh. Still like this one, actually. You know, this one has probably more technology. That is just sleek. This, still very nice. Looks like a Lexus. Not in the trucks much, but they have a large selection of trucks. I mean, a large. Old 500 SL from the 80s, I believe. 81. This was luxury back in the day. Crazy. See, this whole place is pretty large. And they're located in Grapevine, Texas, right near the airport. So if you're around and you come into this area, you definitely should take a look at this place if you're into cars or you come into Dallas. This is crazy. Just your basic uh, C6 convertible. Also taking a look, old school fiber. I think this is 90, what? It's a 92? Yeah, this is a 92. GM and 92. This is brand new around the time I graduated. Wow. This is another clean Volkswagen. 71 Super Beetle. I mean, my goodness. Both of these are clean, but that's just, maybe it's just the color. And it's a convertible. Thunderbird and Thunderbird. Go figure that. So we went from that to that to the one in a corner, which is another one, and then to nothing. 392 on bags. Interesting. Blocked out in the front. Well, that's about it from around here. It's really cool, really big. And uh, if you're in a DFW area, you might want to check this place out. Um, hit that like button, like, subscribe, comment. And uh, again, if you're coming in to Dallas and you've got some time, this is right near the airport, Gateway Classic Car. So check them out. Late.